everyone and welcome back to my channel in this video we're gonna make a sport shirt with long sleeves so an athletic shirt and uh, I make it for my son he chose this color it's this really his color you can see it's certainly not my color because I'm more of the lighter colors or the pinks uh, but this is a very nice uh, polyamide lycra fabric um, and that is a uh, synthetic fabric but it's, it's very breathable so it's very nice for a shirt uh, to do uh, any kind of sport in and my son really wa wanted a shirt with long sleeves because now it gets water cold in our country and then the shorter sleeves are not that nice and it's also not always nice to put a warmer thing on top of it so he wanted an athletic shirt with long sleeves so we're gonna make it it will be very simple very easy to do very quick to do also and uh, it will be a nice one i think so for the pattern we will need the pattern that we made before for the men's long sleeve uh, and i will link up here and down below in the description box uh, the sewing class where you can see how to make that pattern and by the way, in the description box, you uh, always find lots of uh, video recommendations uh, on how to do things, how, some tricks, how to sew things, and all kind of information. So always look down in the description box if you want to know something. So we're going to use that pattern, but we're going to make a little adjustments. What I did for the sleeves, I made the head a bit lower, around 2 centimeters, because I didn't want it that much curved for an uh, athletic shirt. So uh, make it a little bit smaller, uh, lower, but then make sure that it still fits into your armhole. Otherwise you will have to extend here the side. So just measure with your measuring tape how much it is and if it's the same as your armhole is. And otherwise extend there. So that will be your uh, pattern. Uh, the only thing that I really uh, changed beside the sleeves is the neck hole because that one had a v-neck with a high collar. Uh, so I changed the neckline. I made here the back from the uh, perpendicular to the uh, mid fundament back 3 cm lower for the uh, back neck hole and 8 cm lower for the front neck hole. And this will be just a normal rounded neck with a uh, band uh, attached uh, as the finish and for the rest it will be just the same pattern so that is very easy to, uh, to use so I cut all my pieces out we put the sleeves aside for a while and then we take our front and our back of course both um, cut out on the fold we open them up and we place them right sides together so this is my front part, this is my back part, and then we'll pin the shoulder seams and both the side seams and we can sew them together. Uh, and because this is a stretch material, make sure you use a jersey needle, so a ballpoint needle, and use a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch. Uh, for sewing I will use my serger because that's a very nice way to do it because then you have it sewn together and also finished and the seam is stretchy but if you have just a normal uh, sewing machine that is totally fine just use a stretch stitch or a zigzag stitch and make sure if you can to lower your pressure foot pressure because that makes all the difference because otherwise your uh, fabric will stretch out and then you won't get a nice result. So the bodice is already in one piece. This is really a quick sewing class. We're gonna go, gonna continue with our sleeves, and that is also very simple. Just fold them together, right sides together, and then pin that and then sew the sleeve seam, so the whole length of the sleeve for both sleeves of course. 
So now we're going to put in our sleeves. And what you do, I know many people are very intimidated to put in sleeves like this, uh, but it's really not that difficult. You just put your uh, sleeves uh, flat and mark where the middle is of your sleeve. And then you put the sleeve into your top. And then you line up that uh, pin on in the middle of your sleeve with your shoulder seam. I have to put my glasses on. Just like that, you line them up. And then you also line up the sleeve seam and the side seam. So this is the side seam of your uh, shirt and you reach inside to the top of your sleeve and then you have here your sleeve seam and you put them together and then you just flip it like this and you just pin the whole front part of your sleeve and the whole back part of your sleeve and it's really not that difficult because you matched up in your pattern uh, that the sleeve has the same uh, length as the um, armhole is so it just matches up make sure you don't stretch because then you get a really strange seam just don't, so, don't stretch anything out if you think that something is not really adding up just put some more pins and nicely divide it into uh, where you have to uh, to sew it on but never stretch anything out because that looks really strange you do that for both seams and then sew the sleeves in all around sleeves are nicely in now we're going to work here on our neckline and what you do is you measure all around your neckline how much that is so just hold your measuring tape and hold that here to the edge of your um, neck hole and see how much that is and mine is 46 centimeters then what you do is you cut a strip of uh, 80 percent 80 percent of that 46 centimeters and that length you cut out and you make it uh, five centimeters wide five or six centimeters wide we want the band to be two centimeters and that is doubled up so you need four centimeters plus seam allowances so depending on how much seam allowance you want make it five or six centimeters wide and then for me it is 80 percent of 46 and i have to uh, see how much that is so I cut my neckband, it was 37 centimeters plus seam allowance is 39 and I made it 6 centimeters wide so that I have uh, 1 centimeter seam allowance on either side. Now you make a circle out of that, so just sew here the ends together and then I will show you how to put it into the shirt. Now you divide your neck bend and your neck hole in four. So you have here, this is one, the other side is two. And when you place them on top of each other, you can mark those quarters. And you do that same for your neck hole. So don't use your shoulder seams uh, because those are not quarters because your front neck hole is way wider than your back neck hole. This just do the same as we do for the neckband 
you fold them like that and I'm doing this now single layer that is not really the best way it's better to fold it together and then mark it together that it is easier to sew later on so like that I place the pins with the neckband folded double now I do the same for the uh, neck hole just first mark your mid back, your mid front, and then figure out where the other quads are. Like that, and then you match up your uh, quarters of your neck band with the quarters of your um, neck hole, and it means you have to stretch out this a bit because you made it smaller than the opening of your neck hole. I always like to match up the uh, seam of my um, neck band with the mid back because that is nicest out of the way, and then just pin your neck band all around and sew that together. So I attach the color with a basting stitch just to be sure um, before I made the final stitch and this is what happened. Um, normally when you make a color like this on a, a jersey t-shirt um, it is no problem at all. You make your color around 80% of the width of your shirt and then it fits nicely and it stays flat nicely. But you see I have here these wrinkles and because this is a polyamide I cannot really press it. So I cannot press the wrinkles down and of course I will have to top stitch it later on but I'm afraid it will not really be nicely flat like this. I think we will really have a problem here. So I'm going to change it. I'm going to make my collar a bit longer so more uh, in the length of my shirt. Uh, but that means that it will stand off like this so I will then make later on. Uh, hopefully that will work. Um, uh, uh, um, what's it called? A fold here or a stitching here, uh, going on from the shoulder seam into the collar to make the inside of the collar more tight, so that it won't stand off that much. Um, because this is not really not nice. It's it's just a problem like this, and I don't think I can fix it with the top stitching. So I will take it off. I will cut a new collar. And then again do a basting stitch to be sure that it will really be nice because I don't like how this looks. So I basted in another a new uh, neckband and you see this looks way better so I'm gonna attach that. And what I meant what I wanted to do because you see now the outside of the neckband is standing off. Uh, I will just here an extension of the shoulder seam. I want to take it in. I don't know if I can do that just quickly now to show you. I'll just fold it and then show you what it looks like. And then, there's my shoulder seam. I don't know if you can see it, but now it's already a lot more flat like this. Of course, we're going to top stitch it here. And you see this corner is already way better than this corner. This is just standing out. So you just fold it all together and uh, elongating the shoulder seam into your uh, neckband. 
and then it will look very nice. So what I will do is now uh, attach this uh, with a final stitch and um, finish it, the edges. And then you fold your seam allowance to the bottom and top stitch here on the edge of your uh, shirt. color is on, nicely stop, top stitched and I must say it isn't even standing off that much so I think I'm first gonna see how it fits on my son's neck if I have to close up here the uh, corners to have it more laying flat because I don't think this is really too bad so when I have to I will but maybe I can just do it like this so then the only thing we have to do is um, hem the bottom of the sleeves and of the shirt uh, and I will do that with a twin needle because the nice thing is you only have to fold it in once and then you can top stitch it you get a double stitching here and you get a zigzag on the bottom and then the only thing you have to do if you have to is cut off the excess here beneath the zigzag there but when you uh, match it nicely your zigzag will end here at the end of your hem and then you're done with a very nice and polished finish. So do that, hem the sleeves, hem the bottom of the shirt and then your shirt is done.